Okay, so this is a mini video tutorial requested on how to get custom theme. Now, before I start anything, this theme is Windows 7, so I don't know if it'll work for Windows 8. Probably won't, because Windows 8 just likes to cock block at every fucking thing it can. But, if you want my suggestion, getting a Windows XP slash Windows 7 slash Linux would be much easier than trying to do this on Windows 8, so don't try it. Okay, first things first, um, a lot of things you can just do on Google, so first thing you want to do is this. Universal Patcher, and like I said, you can just look it up on Google. And you're going to have to get this before you start getting themes which themes are pretty much me changing up this whole layout as in I can change my theme from this okay yeah it takes some time <laughs> uh, So yeah, I can change my theme from that to that, or if I scroll down, I could change it to this. And you just need to give it a sec, because it has to load everything. It's all custom made, and different, and I don't know why that's like that, but I'm just going to leave it on that theme for now, but anyways... So you're going to need Universal Theme Patcher because this tool is like your life for getting theme patches since I'm on 64-bit. I just do English, okay. I have 64. If you have 32, you do times 86. And what it does is these are the three theme dot DLLs that need to be patched. And if you don't patch them, it's like pretty much these are the security guards for Windows themes. So this thing will you just click patch 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 and it'll automatically patch them. And then you'll have to restart your computer. Obviously I've already done that before a long time ago. So once that done, I have a theme right here. I haven't tried, so I'm gonna try it now. And I was told I'm gonna need a patch Oh yep, yeah, it's just like my guilty crown one. A store is gonna need a password and like it's right there. So I mean blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'll try to link everything you need. The only crucial part really is um what the hell? That isn't right. Like, the only thing you really need is to get that theme patcher, because if you don't get it, which I don't know why, it's not working. And Posy Brew. Oh, oh, well, okay. That's awkward as fuck. Let's try that again. Because you absolutely did not help me out there. Next. Oh, it's just that. Well, that's random. It automatically will install it. That's how most themes do it. Even my Guilty Crown one just automatically made a file. I don't want to go to the product website because this is just to help a friend. But, see, it does its own thing, pretty much. And that's custom. This thing right here, the, like, Windows shit. Yeah, this doesn't like to change. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit. Okay, so, as you can see, 
that changed a fucking shit ton. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, there are a lot of extra things you can get that I have. If I go to my documents, um, there is all these. There's also what I used to have, and that is really fucking annoying. <laughs> Uh, what is it called? This. This gives me a transparent menu so, like, I can see through it. And, yeah. I guess you could just explore your own way. I kind of did. But, yeah, this is what a theme does. It fucks around with your computer. My folders stay the same, though, so it doesn't really affect me. And if I want to change it any time... <laughs> it's it's really just it's pretty simple to be honest it's really simple I just don't like telling people by typing cuz it sounds so technical when it's literally just get theme patcher download and install but yeah that's it I'll link these to everyone if they want I'll just link this, may as well. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, that's the shit. Goodbye. <laughs>